The cat you see behind me is one of 15 cats rescued from a hoarding situation earlier this year. His history is becoming all too familiar in Fargo. In August, 30 cats were rescued from a hot van. Last week, another 20 cats discovered inside an apartment. Valley News Team's Veronica Marshall talks with experts on stopping animal hoarders protecting cats like this. This is Valentino. Because of his time with a hoarder, he has a viral infection in his eye that will never fully heal. He also has to be on a special diet and he takes medication for anxiety. Medical problems like these are common for cats coming out of hoarding situations. They often tend to be sick because they're not getting the health care they need or just the, the living conditions they in are often deplorable. A lot of them end up with like upper respiratory infections so they're they're not doing well. And our local shelters are filling up with more hoarders pets like Valentino. Last week, another hoarding situation added 20 more cats to the mix. Thanks to foster families, we were able to make room for the cats recently, but it's always something that we struggle with because no matter how much space you have, when you get a large number of cats coming at once, it always puts a strain on those resources. But the problem doesn't end there because rescuers say when all of a hoarder's animals are taken away, they just find new ones. And that's the case with Tamara Fisher. She's currently facing an animal neglect charge in Cass County after officers rescued 30 cats from her van back in August. Now, I'm told she already has four or five new cats in her van, and legally, there's nothing wrong with that. The civil process um, can really only reach animals that have already been seized by, by law enforcement. But there are ways to stop hoarders from reoffending. To prevent more situations like Valentino's, experts say it takes building relationships, not more legislation. So they try to work with them to say, okay, let's get, um, let's find new homes for a couple of these cats or dogs, and then they follow up with them the next week. Relationships are where it's at it's in mental health care. That way, cats like Valentino can have happier and healthier lives. In Fargo, Veronica Marshall, Valley News Live. Law enforcement says that there are certain situations like the Fishers where all the animals needed to be removed at once because of immediate health and safety concerns.